Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rogues and Roleplay. Hello, Banana Zipper. Yay! <laughs> I found the three platform, and now I can get more nanners. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to picture you like going up to just like a random stranger, and then just being like, "Hi, Banana Zipper." <laughs> <laughs> Your banana <laughs> zipper is down. <laughs> Something is showing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Your soft inner shell is exposed. <laughs> <laughs> soft inner shell. Yes. Wow. Ah. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I know Chunky's not doing too well. Well, that's because you just took a shockwave to the face. <laughs> That. Oh jeez, another one? Jeez. I mean, he he did dye his hair incredible Hulk green. So I mean, you know he means business. Dude, give me. He a is break. not letting you get up there. <laughs> there you go. No. He is. <laughs> we really need to get rid of that big guy that's dropping those things. I don't know where you find him. He's probably like in some like super secret tunnel. Yeah, probably. I don't know where. What what hap what happened with the camera? <laughs> I don't did it, know. Did it just like instantly like change angles? I have never seen it do that before. I, I have no idea. All I know Whoa. is that this is an igloo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had something I wanted to talk about. So oh. a little a, wh a little while ago, uh, I got to go to a lecture with a couple of uh, writers. And they were talking oh. about, like, things in the film industry. Okay. And one of the books that I ended up picking up, it's by a guy named Douglas Brode. And he wrote a book called Fantastic Planets, Forbidden Zones, and Lost Continents, The 100 Greatest Science Fiction Films. Wait, what? Yeah, so it, it it's a book just listing, like, the, his top 100, like, greatest science fiction films. But, he, like it, the ones that he likes the most. Well, th that was something he was like talking about in the lecture. Is just like if y if whenever you write anything that's a list of anything, it's always going to be biased based on the opinions of the person writing that list. And he f he fully recognizes it, and that's why I respect it. Is like if you want to go through the trouble of getting a publisher and writing a book and organizing and detailing 100 you know movies at one point, do it. But this is my version of it. <laughs> I'm just like, I had to respect his, like, his just gusto with it. It's just like, this is mine, and I took the time to do it. <laughs> and it was just like, you know what? I, I kind of just had this, like, connective. It was like, you know what? If you have, like, an opinion on something and you feel that it's, like, worthwhile, then freaking let people know. I agree. I love to give my opinion about stuff all the time. And it's just like... Because, like, it's just, you have to also kind of know, like, what you're talking about, too. If you're just going well, yeah. to spout nonsense, then no, but, I mean, he wrote an entire freaking, you know, several hundred page book, like, not only listing them, but, you know, detailing each movie and why. Right. So He had, re he had reasons as to why he liked yeah, and disliked but something. I just, I, I really, like, respected everything he talked about in the lecture, and... You know how, what his opinions were like in just the movie field in general, but he 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 really really wanted to put King Kong in here, but it's not science fiction; it's fantasy. Yeah, but it, it's just like that. That was something that like I wanted to like talk about is just like a lot of genres just smushed together at this point now. <laughs> like, you don't you don't get anything that's just like pure this anymore, really. It's just like you have like a, a million like sub genres now, and it's just it's hard to really like classify something as one single thing. Yeah, it's that, there's definitely some truth to that. But I I do recommend it. I I've been reading that that book, and the points that he makes are actually really good. But uh, I know I'm he's he's planning on doing another like fantasy one. But uh, he's also planning on writing a book, and I think he's titled it Planet Jesus. Planet Jesus? Yes, it's a science fiction book about if, like, Jesus was, like, an oh, alien or something. There he is. Oh, did you find it? I found. I think I found the big guy. Do it. Go up there and I th smack I think him I know. Around. I think I know where he is. I think. I 
think I know what it is. Go up there and smack him around. Which you Show him who's boss. Are we gonna have to fight him with Chunky because he's like super huge? Probably. We're if, gonna have to go if we're able to fight him. Go super ape. We should be able to fight him, but yeah, if we are, then it's more than likely gonna mm -hmm. be super ape. We have to go great ape saying on him. <laughs> I know. Like great ape. Got it. Yeah. It's just, uh, did did was there ever like a super saiyan great ape or whatever? Like, did he ever turn all blonde or red or whatever? Actually, yes, but it's not canon. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's uh, it happened in Dragon Ball GT, um, where that's how he attained uh, super saiyan four, but um. It's already been confirmed by the creator of Dragon Ball Z that Dragon Ball GT is no longer considered canon at all. So really, they just nixed that entire plot line. Oh yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it's like they they don't acknowledge that that show existed. <laughs> but like, didn't he didn't he write that? No, no, the, no. The original creator had nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. That was just a show that they decided to make. Just like the the parent company that like made it like had a contract. Yeah, for well, it Funima then... Funimation like he I believe the creator Akira Toriyama left he left Funimation for a period of time, so he stopped making um, Dragon Ball Z. Ah, okay. And has he made anything else like after Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, he like he does more than just Dragon Ball Z. Like he's the uh, artist behind uh, the Dragon Quest games. Oh okay. So he does like he does more than just the DBZ. Um, yeah, I was just like wondering if there's like another like manga slash anime series that like that I don't know. He's done that I don't know. I would need to do more research. But I on know that. Dragon Quest Eight. Yeah, you can easily tell it's heavily influenced by like oh absolutely like, that design on the characters. Dragon Quest Eight's one of my favorite yeah. RPGs ever, man. I love that fucking game. I'd like to play it on the channel someday. Ooh, that's a long one though. It is a long one. It so, is well, a long one. Well, because like I remember playing through it, and I think I remember like my favorite thing was like the monster taming. Yeah, you can tame monsters in that one. And, like, I had, like, the three golems that, like, merged into one super golem and just destroyed <laughs> everything. Like, at that point, the rest of the game was trivial. I just freaking summoned my three mini gigantors to make a giant fucking gigantor <laughs> and then just f destroy everything in my path. Nice. With his freaking fists of destruction and lasers of doom. <laughs> lasers of doom. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> no, it's all good. But uh, what, what what are some other like great JRPGs that aren't like super mainstream? I don't know. Um, uh, see, another one of my um, favorites was Nino Kuni was is one that comes to my mind. Yeah, that one's oriented towards like kids though. Like that's definitely aimed towards a younger audience. So what? I mean, like, well, well Dragon, I mean, Quest, Dragon Quest Day was technically aimed towards a younger audience. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, there, 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 was, like, uh, there, there was sexual elements in it, but... Well, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, she uses a whip and you can give her pantyhose! <laughs> or fishnet stockings, whatever they're yeah, called. Yeah, whatever. It's, it's, fucking... it's not... It's, it's, it's not... Yeah. Bad. It, they, they, they released Dragon Quest Eight on the 3DS. Uh, I'm, and... I'm sorry, but bunny girls are old uh, as Playboy and it doesn't look good anymore. Yeah. Well, the, the thing, too, is that they released uh, Dragon Quest VIII on the 3DS and they uh, censored out the uh, the Magic Bikini. Aww. Yeah, do you remember the Magic Bikini? Yeah, I remember the Magic yeah, Bikini. Yeah, the, like, the 3DS version censored it. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I finally found this thing! Where did you go? <laughs> uh, okay, there I am. <laughs> did you go through the ceiling? I don't know what just happened, but what, but what, do, oh, what matters is whoa. that I finally found it. I've, been, what, I've actually like, been looking all over the place for this um, thing. What was it? Uh, oh yeah, uh, Wild Arms. The first Wild Arms was always one of my favorite JRPGs growing up. And then, uh, what was it? There was uh, The Secret of Mana was another good one. Oh yeah. Um, what was it? Here, what was it? I think so. Um, let's see, what are some other ones? Would, would Super Mario RPG count as a JRPG? Um, technically, because it was made by Square and Nintendo, wasn't it? Since I think it would, huh? 
I've never, I've never thought about that. Is like, is that? I guess technically, but technically, I think so. Huh. I don't see why not. I mean, it Weird. was. Oh. Oh, hello, hello, hello. It's a teleport hello. pad. I, I, oh, I, you know what? You have to land on it if you want to. Activate yeah, it. I don't want to land on it because then I gotta do a lot of running around. I have no idea where we are anymore. Um, I, I know, I know where I need to go though. There's I just one more. Go there's one more JRPG that I'm forgetting that I wanted to mention. Chrono. Chrono Trigger. Yeah, that one. Chrono Trigger. There's so many. There's been so many like Chrono games. I get some of them mixed <laughs> up. It's like there's Chrono Cross, Chrono Crusade, Chrono Trigger. I've uh, actually. I, I think I mentioned this on the channel before, but I've never played Chrono Trigger. Um, that that one. Somebody told me that there was like a lot of something and eh, whatever I'm, I'm not gonna get into that yeah I, I, but, uh, th that's a that's a game that's highly praised by a lot of people and I've yeah. actually never oh, it, ever it's a great it. game just because the the way it handles time travel is just beautiful oh now I remember fantasy star uh I think fantasy it was star okay. uh the third one um I think it was the third one it's called generations of doom and like what it was is you play the game over the course of three generations of your family and what happens is, like, the choices you make on your first character will determine who, like, your your choices and pathways and, like, your storyline all the way through the rest of the game based on the choices of that first character. So, like, there's, there's, like, a ton of different possible endings in that game because based off of, like, who you marry and, like, who you, like, what you do in the game will... <gasps> Look at that! Oh, so that's what we had to do. Yeah, we had to drop was. a boulder on a button so we could break an igloo. That makes no sense, but okay, we'll go with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay. oh, I I would love to play that game, but it, it is another super long game. What 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 was the game again? Uh, Generations of Doom, uh, Fantasy Star. I think oh, okay. It was, I think okay. it was Fantasy Star three, but it's just the the way it, it you would. You would trans, you know, translate everything from one character to your your offspring, and then to a, a third generation that like resolves like everything that happens in the first character's like plot. Uh -huh. Is just it was very well done. Hmm. So it's just like it it shows the like change of over time of what happens in like the kingdoms and the terrain and everything. But one of my favorite things in that game is there is a like cyborg. Whoa! In that whoa. Hey, Lanky. <laughs> hey, Lanky. It's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo. So <laughs> I've made up a game to pass the time. If I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom. How about <laughs> it, buddy? <laughs> what is that? Uh, it is a rabid bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is a bag. <laughs> I'm a bag. It looks. It looks like an early version of that pissed off tater tot thing. <laughs> what? You, you've never seen the picture? Oh, that thing! Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about, actually. Yeah, it looks a lot like that. It kind of reminds me for Oh, uh, what? Um... What, I don't know, I don't know how to play. What, what, I was not what, paying what, what, attention. Um, uh, what, what game are we doing? Uh, uh, do we have to flip tiles to... Okay, so I think we have to make more tiles DK than he makes them K rules. I think that's what we have to do. I think I don't know. Uh, damn it! He is destroying you. Damn it! I'm trying to do the other one. <laughs> you need to like really just center in on it. Oh man, oh, this okay. is balls. Yeah, I think he is literally just like a very pissed off present that wasn't given away at Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you supposed to... It looks like y'all are about able to... You can slam a little bit faster than him. I think he beat me. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, yeah he, he did. did. God. I like this game. Let's play again. Who wrapped up a freaking pissed off tomato in, like, Christmas paper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you tomatoes for Christmas. <laughs> That would be one heck of a horrible Christmas present, is just mm -hmm. tomatoes. Aww. So I think you want to, like, follow behind him and change, like, his that... Because now he's just, like, changing the ones you're doing. You you want to mess with his first. Oh, 
Oh, y'all are just circling each other. Damn it! Oh. It wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> this is actually harder than it looks, I would imagine. Yes. It is. It's just, he can go at about the same rate you are, and he's just following you now, so you're making no progress. Yeah, I, I, in the next time, like, just follow him around and keep changing his. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, did, did you do it? I don't know. Oh, y'all are dead no. even. Yeah, so it's a loss. It has oh. to be one it has to yeah, be I me. hate this game. You're going to keep playing with me forever. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, it's a face wor it, it's a face worse than death. A face worse than death. Yes, it's oh, a face worse than death. Change one of yours. <laughs> Fucking oh, really? The detection on his slam is weird. Oh, come on! Oh, Damn okay. it, I'm trying to go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, you're, you're trying- you're going too fast. Well, you gotta go really you fast. Just, just gotta slow your roll and chill out like Lanky. There we go. Just, just be cool with it. Stop doing that! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Damn it, no. no. Oh, that's <sighs> that's not going to help. Nope. Jeez. Oh. No, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not good at all. Uh, hey, it's a Luigi hell. It's like, it, <laughs> it actually <laughs> is. It's like, you just you need to make sure that you're very careful where you slam. Yeah, you gotta be really careful and about that. And make sure you do not welcome his jam. I do not welcome his jam. Because if you want to slam, you have to be all about that jam. Ha! I stopped him from flipping that one. Oh, nice. So if you catch him in time, you can totally mess up his pacing. Okay. Oh, yes. Just keep following him and you will destroy him. Nice. Oh, fuck, no! Aw, oh, none of them counted that time. He did it to you. Ooh. Y'all are just, like, just pummeling each other's stuff in this one corner. Nobody's going to the bottom right. All right. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I got him this time. Oh, yeah. Let's freaking put him back in the mailbox and tell him to return to sender. Nobody wants you, Rotten Tomato Gift. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no. no! It took me days to think of that game! <laughs> and you beat me! You're not my friend anymore! Oh, Take your winnings and leave! What a sore loser. Yeah, that's one oh. sore loser there. Jeez. I I just... Oh, he, I, I, he, he doesn't have much to live for. He is the... Possessed leftovers of a gift tomato. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not even corporeal. He's He doesn't really look like much. He has no body with which to give it's shits his only with. His, it's his only sense of being is to win at that game. And like... If it took I you, just got the hiccups. If it took <laughs> you days to think of that game... Like, I, I feel like he could have been doing something better with his time. Yeah. <laughs> like, he could have, I mean, uh... It, it obviously looks like he's really good at building ice castles, so maybe he could do that for a living. Wait, what? Where do we need to go? Oh, I think the top of the tower needs to be opened up or something? Uh, is that a thing we can do? I guess? I don't know. Huh. I don't know, but what I do know is that we need to find more nanners. But we're gonna have to do that next time on Rogues and Roleplayers. Yes! Next time on Rogues and Roleplayers, I'll find more nanas. More nanas for my nanas collection. More nanas for my nanny nanas. Nanny nanas. I don't know where to go now. Nanny nanners? <laughs> nanny nanners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It's, it's like Mrs. Doubtfire, but... There, he's wearing like a bright yellow skirt. 
was like, Nanny Nanners. Hello! <laughs> no, it's just like a really hairy guy wearing Nanny Nanners. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs> Jeez. Nanny Nanners. Nanny Nanners. <laughs> Sounds like an something like like a, a kid would use to like taunt somebody, like nanny nanners. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> It's like going all full metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tiny has to go see Cranky. Aww. We'll go do that. While we're while we're figuring out. Oh, the four platform. Oh, the four platform. You didn't earlier. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? <laughs> That's why. Happy <laughs> 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 <laughs>